Okay, at least we not forget the ignominious ending to their season and that loss <laughs> to the 49ers. Lewis, why mm. should we have faith that they're going to be better this year? <laughs> Yeah, because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to believe Hannah that the coaching staff in particular will manage these end of game situations, end of half situations, situational football, something that we have just worn out talking about, you know, on our airwaves and how important it is and how it is a difference maker between wins and losses in the NFL. Those games decided by seven points or less. I'm just gonna have to believe that Mike McCarthy and his staff are gonna be better in those situations and allow this football team to win those tight games and manage those situations better. That I, I just have to because the football team, I think, from a personnel perspective, has what it needs to compete at a very high level with any team in the NFL. It's those situations, though, that they have to be better at, and I think they will be better at it. Otherwise, they're going to be looking for a new job. Yeah, otherwise, you got Sean Payton waiting in the wings. So, okay, uh, Teddy, That's do you too. think that the Cowboys – are the favorites to win the division? Would they be your pick? Yeah, it's, they wouldn't be. I, I, I would go with the Philadelphia Eagles. I am picking them to win the NFC East. And all the great things that Lewis said about Dak Prescott, and now he has to learn to do them all over again without Amari Cooper, with with new receivers, with with a different with a different team. So, and to just to assume that the coaching staff they'll they'll get these these situations worked out. I'm not going to do that with these guys because I mean just to get to those situations in those playoff moments is so different. It's so hard and difficult. And I think the one thing that really was important impactful on that team was the defense and how they were able to take away the football. So then it's like, I think the big question is, can the defense do that again? Can Trayvon Diggs have double-digit interceptions again, which is an ex absolutely explosive year for a cornerback? And then Micah Parsons, I mean, 13 sacks, I think it was. So those two players specifically almost are just as important as Dak Prescott because getting those turnovers was instrumental to their success. Listen, Micah Parsons was all over the field. It was a revelation. He did disappear, though, at the end of the season and in that final game. And it was their offensive line, all that shuffling, that lack of protection and lack of confidence on the part of Dak. And then he began to slide. Listen, is that going to get better this season? Lewis? Yeah, that's a, that's a great like, – I mean, those are all great questions. There's, there's no question about that. And, but I, I, just, I just do believe that, look – the, offense, the, the coaching staff in particular has remained constant this year. They didn't lose Kellen Moore. They didn't lose Dan Quinn. Mike McCarthy, he knows that he is, he is going to come under fire if he is not able to handle this football team in situations that, are just really, that really lead to them winning football games much better than he did in 2021. I think they will get that done. I think they will go ahead and address some of these personnel issues, and they will be able to compete with the best teams in the NFC, and they'll be right there in the end. Hope always brings eternal with Dallas, doesn't it? All right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.